It's official. Your boss has to give you time off to recover from childbirth or get an abortion. These changes are part of new workplace protections made possible through the Pregnant Workers Fairness Act. Discrimination against pregnant people in the workplace has run rampant for years, necessitating new legislation that would clamp down on employers who fire workers rather than accommodate their needs. For this act, one in four mothers returned to work within two weeks of giving birth. After more than a decade of advocacy, the law passed in December 2022 and went into effect in the summer of 2023. But it wasn't until today that the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, the EEOC, which enforces the law, released its final regulations that detail exactly how the law will work in practice. As part of these regulations, the EEOC clarified the responsibility employers with 15 or more employees will now have to their workers. At a minimum, that means unpaid time off, but employers can also offer paid time off if they wish to. They can deny the request, but they have to prove that implementing the change would create undue hardship on the business, and that threshold will be pretty hard to clear. Provisions relating to time off are especially important for workers who do not qualify for parental leave through the Family and Medical Leave Act, which is the FMLA. That grants 12 weeks of unpaid time, but only applies to employers with 50 or more workers. About half of all Americans cannot access unpaid time through the FMLA, typically because they have not been at their job long enough or their employer is too small. Employers are required to provide time off if a worker needs to travel out of state to obtain medical care for an abortion. This applies even in a state where strict abortion limits are in place. These regulations have roots back to 2011 where Diana Bax, the co-founder and co-president of A Better Balance, the Work and Family Legal Center, first called for a new law that would protect pregnant workers. She had been inspired by pregnant people who had contacted the organization with stories of how they lost their jobs or retaliated against when they requested accommodations as simple as a chair or bottle of water, and many of these workers were women of color who are concentrated in the country's lowest paying jobs where benefits are paltry and turnover is high. There's a lot more to this article. Be sure to read the rest over at Iowa Starting Line. Thanks for watching.